data mine in a nutshell july 2024 guys this is part two of my data mine in a nutshell series part one features all the sync pair scouts if you haven't seen this link will be down in the description part two talks about all the events in chronological order and yes gem count coming well tomorrow morning early morning i'm almost done with it but i have to teach class so i'm gonna run and gonna continue later on but anyway guys let's talk about the events right now starting with story event exciting treasure hunt featuring summer azarola and summer gardenia A gardenia comes first by the way june 28th to july 14th now one interesting thing comes out on july 28th as well is the damage challenge starting june 28th this is well we'll have to see what this is but you can get in my computation, you can get a lot of gems from this one, even on day one. So, looking forward to see what this event brings us. Not really an event, but this is gonna be like a perpetual thing. Probably in the side area, we can play this anytime we want. Hmm, we'll have to see. Next, July 1, we can finally invite Kabu and Torkoal or Kabu to the Trainer Lodge as long as you have scouted for Kabu and Senti Scorch. He's a Pokefair scout. He's still running if you want to invite him to the Trainer Lodge and pair up with Torkoal at friendship level 100, you will have to scout for this limited sync pair, you know, in the sync pair scout. So good luck. And on July 1 as well, you have another part of the Mysterious Stones chapter featuring... An NPC. Wonder when we will be getting Brandon in the game. Scoutable or playable at least. Hmm. July 8th, we have... I think I missed out an event or something. Let me recap that later. But July 8th, Best Boy Nolan is gonna be fightable in as an ultimate opponent. Nolan's plucky punches. Good luck. It's gonna be quite fun and probably irritating anyway backtracking sorry i said chronological order but it's too late for me to make another video now july 3 to july 19 you have the story event twin stars far apart last year's summer event july 5 you have the high score event ghost and dark conqueror which will get you some titles as well as items and gems good luck if you are do well Good luck if you are aiming for the trophies and everything like that. July 9, you have the rerun of the solo event with Beauty and Grace. And this ends or last day is on July 22. Jumping to July 12, you have a brand new story event, Isle Disciples Arena Tycoon. Featuring three Poke Fairs. Three Poke Fairs. Interesting. All of them Dynamax. And one sync pair, that last one, Greta, is the very first sync pair with a combination of sprint and field. Or was it field and sprint? Who cares? As long as that combination is finally in the game for Battle Rally. Alright, July 19, we have the rerun of the villain event Team Magma's Red Hot Rage. And two days after, you have the rerun of the villain event Team Aqua's Stormy Seas. Now, um, again, for those who do not have Cygnus with Steven yet, he's going to be scoutable in a double feature Pokefair scout. Again, those links or uh, talk about the Sync Pair scouts is in the other video. Check that out. July 22, you have the ranked damage event, Super Sparring. I think this is the event where you can scout for, or rather, you can pair up with these Sync Pairs. I'm not really sure about that. But you'll have to exchange items from the event in order to get some free to play sync pairs. And then July 25, you got Pokemon Masters Day. And this month, we will be having Gardenia as the six star EXable brand new, you know, brand new six star EXable unit. I think um, Jasmine and Steelix is going to be the one that gets the power boost. And also Cygnus with Lyra is going to get the EX roll treatment as well as the Master Fair rerun with an EX roll of Field. And last but not the least, guys, you have the three type egg event happening on July 26. And this event runs two weeks until August 8th. 
And with that said, that wraps up all the events right now, what we have for July 2024. Again, update or gem count in another video coming way later, probably tonight if it's possible, or maybe tomorrow, just wait for it. And yeah, if you appreciate these videos, want to help me out, go ahead, go to my coffee.com slash SPLGum or Patreon or PayPal and support me over here. I would highly appreciate your support. Thank you to Midnight Black as well as Jeremy for that 3%. It looks small, but that's actually a lot with that goal in mind. So thank you so much. For that support and if you want to help me out as well become a member of my channel support me for as low as one us dollar a month by clicking on the join button down below thank you to these awesome people for your continued support and with that said that's it for this data mine in a nutshell i'll see you in the next one Rawr.